Hey everyone, this is Daniel from Skeptech TV and if you're looking for cheap but good truly wireless earbuds, stay with me, your search might be over. Welcome you skeptical skepticianers, if that's a word. In my last review, I reviewed the Misfit One, a pair of truly wireless earbuds. This video is a dedicated running review, but you can transfer most of it to using them in the gym as well. I like their design and the great sound. But the question is, how good can a pair of truly wireless earbuds be for running for just 80 US dollar? So let's change location and take them on a run. Bluetooth and secure fit. Now, the two most important things on running earbuds are a reliable Bluetooth connection and a tight fit. Because what's the point of them otherwise? I'm usually holding my phone in my hand while running, so there is a direct connection of sight to the earbuds for most of the time. Although there are a few short audio cutouts sometimes, the Bluetooth connection overall worked fine during my runs. It is okay for my use case and for the small price tag, but it's not outstanding. I've tested the earbuds Bluetooth reliability with a bunch of different smartphones, with pretty interesting results. If you want to know more details, you can check out my full review of the Misfit 1. The link is in the video description below. The Fit ones seem to carry the perfect name because their fit is just phenomenal. Although the earbuds don't have these little silicon fins that you find on dedicated fitness earbuds like the Jaybird Run, the Gear Icon X or the Jabber Elite Sport, they sit very securely in my ears. At no point in time I felt they'd gonna fall out. And that were only the silicon ear tips. With the memory foam ear tips, the earbuds hold even better. But with both ear tip versions, the Fit One didn't come loose through vibration nor fast head movements. Not even when I got sweaty. They stayed exceptionally well in my ear channels, kind of patiently waiting for the run to end. I would almost say they were literally sticking in place. Just like this guy here. Sound quality and ease of use. The difference between the foam and the silicon ear tips was smaller than I expected when it comes to sound. There is a little bit more power in the bass with the memory foam ear tips and a slightly better noise isolation from the outside world. But no matter which version you prefer, the sound quality is fantastic, hands down. Another positive note is that the earbuds do not cause any whistling noise caused by the wind from your run. The Fit One make it easy to adjust the volume and to pause or select tracks during your run. There are control buttons on each earbud that are nice and tactile. On many in-ear devices, it can be pretty uncomfortable to use manual buttons, as you need to press them slightly into your ears. But luckily, the button's pressure points at the Fit One are soft enough to not be uncomfortable, and yet they are clicky and don't rattle at all. Mobility. The Fit One are fully wireless, which means they provide good mobility during your run or other fitness activities. No disturbing cable between the butts that would get stuck on sweaty skin. No annoying cable that would jiggle the earbuds out of your ear channels. However, you are not fully independent from your phone, as you cannot store music on the buds themselves. The earbuds should last for 1 hour and 45 minutes to about 2.5 hours on one charge. I would almost recommend you to leave the charging case at home for the run. You would only need to have it with you in case the pairing connection to the phone would ever get confused. But luckily, the Fit Ones are extremely reliable here. Well, great then, you can leave the case at home, right? Mm. Almost. If you pause your music for several minutes, the earbuds will power off to save battery. That's generally great, but unfortunately, you cannot wake them up again by just a button press. In that case, you again depend on having the battery case with you. Because to wake the earbuds up again, you need to put the earbuds back in the case for just one moment. I seldom pause my music or audiobook for too long when running, so I left the case at home several times without problem. But if you often pause your music for more than a few minutes, you should better take the case with you. Fitness tracking. The Mies Fit One do not sport any fitness tracking features. No heart rate monitoring, no step counter. And that's totally fine for me, especially for the low price. More ambitious runners though, who need these monitoring features, should better consider other models. I've listed some wired and wireless alternatives for you in the description below. Water and sweat resistance. Mies does not state an official IP rating for the Fit One, but they told me sweat and rain would not be a problem for the butts. 
So I put one earbud outside during a light rain shower and left it there for a few minutes. In fact, no problem at all. But I wouldn't be a skeptic if I wouldn't put the Fit1 under a little more stress, would I? So I decided to test them under the shower. Please, do not try this at home. This is neither a regular use case nor a realistic test scenario for the earbuds. Shampoo makes it much easier for water to get virtually through the tiniest openings. It could short circuit the battery, so again, please do not try this yourself. So, to not tease you any longer, was the test successful? Yes. Did the Fit1 survive my shower test? Yes. And no. One of the earbuds works still perfectly fine. The other earbud though unfortunately slipped out of my ear because of the shampoo and dropped onto the ground. Under normal running conditions with sweat, they always stayed perfectly in my ears though. So I picked them up, tried to blow away the water, put them back into my ears and they were still playing music, although I later noticed that the buttons on this earbud had stopped working. I can't tell you if this was caused by the hard drop to the tiles or by the shampoo or by me blowing the water deeper into the earbuds. But what I can tell you after the shower test is that the other earbud, the one that did not fall to the ground, survived the rain test as well as the shower test. And honestly, since this little buddy survived both tests, I would have no concerns at all to wear the Misfit one during a regular rain shower. Conclusion. So overall, are the Misfit one good for runners or other fitness enthusiasts? They are surely no dedicated sports earbuds and they don't claim to be. But they're great fit, the awesome sound, and the manual control buttons make them a lot of fun on your runs or in the gym. The Bluetooth connection could be a little bit better, but if you hold your phone in your hand during the run, like me, then the connection won't bother you too much. All in all, I think for just 80 US dollar, the Fit1 are a solid deal for hobbyist runners that don't really need fitness tracking functions in their earbuds. But that's it again for this video. What other earbuds are you currently interested in and why? Which other earbuds would you like me to review for you guys? Let me know in the comments. If you found this review helpful, then please leave me a thumbs up, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel for more interesting content like that. You can also find me on social media like Facebook, Twitter and Instagram up there or in the video description below. There you also find all the links I mentioned in the video. But that's it for now. This was Daniel. I see you in the next one. And remember my friends, stay skeptic. Did <laughs> you